Well, it's a beautiful morning on uh, Wolf Lake. It's one of my favorite lakes around here. All quartzite. It's the second morning. No, no morning of day, day two. <laughs> and this, I think, is the lake that is causing a lot of controversy because they found gold here. So they're going to try and remove it from the park that exists here. I don't know. You see what's in front of me. I think this is better than gold. But who am I to judge? That's nice. I swear I was in Clarny Provincial Park. Right, Mike? Sure. Mike says a lot. He, he talks nonstop. I'm usually quite quiet and subdued. Well, this is the end of uh, day two, and we're on, what lake are we on, Mike? Doherty. Doherty. And uh, we're going to go to the next lake, but we saw this beautiful campsite, and it was around 4.30, 5 o'clock, so we're like, well, let's stay here. Oh, wait a minute, the maps are blowing away, I'll be back. <laughs> there, I got them, save the maps, that's important. Uh, yeah, yeah, we had a good day, and uh, it's uh, stinking hot, though, uh, really warm. It was actually a beautiful day right until about 2 o'clock, then it got really humid. And the bugs are just insane right now. There was just black flies and mosquitoes at first, but now the deer flies have joined the party, and it's a lot of fun. That is a deer fly. They are evil. They bite you, and they hurt a lot. Happy National Canoe Day. <laughs> and we had a wonderful National Canoe Day. We did. A uh, great way to celebrate National Canoe Day is to go on a canoe trip. The only really nasty portage uh, was um, the Billy Goat Portage, where it went up a hill and then down a hill, uh, right into this lake. And um, we didn't like it. We brought a whitewater boat because we're going down a bit of the um, uh, sturgeon uh, for a couple of days, but we're rethinking maybe you know, that was a stupid idea. I'm not making any sense. I got a heat stroke, I think. Okay, I'm preparing uh, the meal for our second night, and Mike's uh, wife played a little bit of a joke on me. Here's the oil container. I'm not sure if you can read this. Let me turn it this way. It's a pee uh, bottle. Uh, Dr. Callan, uh, name is Mike, that's the guy I'm palling with. Uh, first pee of the day, Saturday morning, 6 a.m. That's just weird, Mike. you got to get a life. Good use for a bottle, though. <laughs> so we got... Venison summer sausage. Mike shot the deer. You Bambi killer, you. Oh, jeez, yeah. thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, looks good. And cheese. It is sticking hot out. And it's uh, like 8.30. A <laughs> uh, bit of a heat wave. Second day. Mike and I are not happy about it. We're trying not to think about how hot it is, but it is hot. We're sunburned, we're heat stroke, the bugs are out, the deer flies are driving us crazy, but we're in the wilderness and we're not working. Right, Mike? That's right. What lake is this, uh, Mike? Frederick. Frederick Lake. Just entering Frederick Lake, an old pointer boat. That's all I got to say. Pointer boat, logging camp, marvelous lake, day three, Mike. Can't not stop talking. <laughs> we have made it to the uh, Sturgeon River. Yay! Are you excited, Mike? Yeah, so there's flow now. Yeah. And, and lots of bugs. <laughs> there's lots of bugs here. Really buggy. But we made it to the Sturgeon. Well, our levels seem fine. Um, attitude seems fine. Uh, Mike's looking at the map just to make sure we know what we're doing. It's kind of funny. Uh, he has a copy of um, Hab Wilson's book. He has a copy of ottertooth.com's uh, um, stuff, but he does not have Kevin Callan's guidebook of the Sturgeon River, I see. Hmm, interesting. Well, we're floating down the Sturgeon River, and uh, we haven't hit rapids yet, but that's uh, bound to happen. It's a nice river. Uh, just free flowing down here. Lots of uh, moose habitat. 
And uh, the disadvantage of being on the river, I mean, we, we're going down current now. We're going to run whitewater. We're all excited about that. But uh, out in the lakes, there's a bit of a breeze. Well, somewhat of a breeze, and there's no bugs. Uh, the bugs are on the river. The deer flies, the black flies, and mosquitoes are out in full force. And, um, <laughs> oh well. We're not concerned though, are we, Mike? No. I think Mike just wants me to paddle. We're just floating down. Okay, so here we go, down the mighty Sturgeon River. Da -da -da -da. Very steep portage around this rapid here. And uh, <laughs> that is the way down the portage. How was the portage, Mike? Nice, really nice. <laughs> <laughs> Mike is cooking his dinner, and we're in the bug shelter. And we're having, what are we having for tonight? Um, noodles and cabanero sauce. Ooh. And we're in the bug shelter cause... There's too many bugs. Too many bugs. And who got wet in the rapids today? Me, thanks to Kevin. I hit a wave, and I aimed for it too, because I knew he was in the front, and would get wet. Oh, all right, I'm uh, in the bug shelter, because uh, the bugs are bad. And I'm going to show you all the camp gadgets I brought for this trip that Mike Kip is uh, being driven insane with. Oh, you got too many gadgets. First of all, the bug shelter was one of the camp gadgets that he was, uh, oh, I don't know if we need it. <laughs> I have my Goal Zero solar panel that we uh, had out in the boat today because it was really sunny. And I connect all my batteries to this and charge my batteries and charge my iPod and keep things all charged with that. What else do I have? What else do I have with uh, gadgets? That's it. You can complain about all the gadgets. That's all I got. Oh yeah, the new stove. I have a new stove. It's called the uh, MSR Simmerlite lighter stove. It's not the dragonfly that goes <laughs> This thing is a lot quieter. That's it. That's all I got in my pack. I swear, I swear, Mike. Oh yeah, <laughs> a map case. That is, that is the size of my sleeping bag. <laughs> Anything else? Well, I got new boots, but they're wet and stinky. They're Keens, Keen boots. See, Keen, Keen. Except they got sore feet, so I don't know if they work, but that's it. That's all I got. Oh yeah, my chair. Mike is sitting on the ground. I'm sitting on my thermos chair. Okay, is that it? Oh, I, I got a new hat. I have a new hat. There, black flies love this hat. Yep, that's it. You sure? I have no more gadgets. No, I got more gadgets. A oh, flashlight. Phoenix, Phoenix flashlight, ooh, see? And it's got a little, uh, attach them on there to make a little light for the tent. Well, it's, it strobes too. <laughs> disco, disco. That's it? You sure? That's it for now. All right, that's it for now. No, Mike found another one. I have a pen, it's this astronaut pen. I can write upside down. It writes underwater, which we haven't tested yet, but we will probably, because we're doing more rapids tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Writes in really, Hot temperatures and cold temperatures and stuff like that. My new pen gadget. That, that's it. That's it for now. No, one more. Bungee Billy Bobs, I think they're called. It's a friend I know from the, the States. You attach your um, your fishing rod or your your, your paddles uh, to the gunnel of the canoe, and it goes like this. <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, you put it through like like this, like that, and you attach things on to your gunnel, your canoe. Nice guy too, that makes these things. Last gadget, that's it. My last gadget. So, oh, we found more. MSR uh, kitchen apparel, a spoon, a siphoner, whatever it's called, and also a cheese grater, all in one. A flipper, all very lightweight. Is that it? That's it for now. Anything else? No, um, hmm. Yeah, that's my gadgets, and uh, that's all I got to say. Well, here we are, I think, at Pilgrim Creek, and uh, a little rainy today, a little buggy today. Make note, when doing the sturgeon, it's a lovely trip. Portages are short, but they're really steep and very rocky, so uh, you have to have sure footing. I think I fell four times. I think Mike counted six times, but the other two were just a trip, not a fall. I figured a fall is when the canoe falls on your head, 
that's a fall. Be careful on the Sturgeon River. We're going down the Sturgeon River, nice misty morning, and uh, we got a whole bunch of hills coming up. Really nice look. Look at this. Nice scenery. We just ran a whole pile of rapids, a lot of C1s, C1 tucks, um, but there's good, good water levels, so it's not too bad. I uh, didn't videotape any of that because uh, we're too busy paddling. We're just uh, drifting down. Actually, the current's pretty, pretty good. I think I've, I've been down the sturgeon, I think, twice. And I've never had this much water. But I don't think I've ever gone in bug season. Isn't that beautiful? Nice, eh, Mike? Beautiful day. Nice and cool. A little damp, but nice and cool. Kind of nice paddling. Well, um, we're on a side route. We're off the river right now, and we're going back uh, Chinookoochee Way on an old route that uh, we're exhausted on. We did a 1495 whatever meter portage, and uh, it wasn't too bad because it was mostly on the road, but then the last bit, the 200 meters, was uh, really insane. Was lots of rocks, lots of slippery rocks, lots of mud. And now we're uh, looking for another portage, and we need to find it, right, Mike? That's right. Because we're getting tired and cranky, and well, I'm getting cranky, I'm getting really cranky. The canoe fell on my head. I love the canoe. The canoe and I are one. Uh, anyway, we, um, we think we only have one portage left, but uh, we can't find it. We'll find it. We're not lost. We're confused over whereabouts. Mike's not talking much. He wanted to go keep going downriver because we're going with the current, but it was my idea to go and try something different. That's all I got to say. Got to watch him. You never know what he's up to back there. Yeah, they're bad. Whose idea was to go in June? <laughs> <laughs>